Good to have you with us on News at Nine. Now, the DA has called on the Department of Human Settlements to account for the alleged disappearance of about 220 million rand earmarked to build community residential units in Tabong Valcom in the Free State. The G-Block housing project was aimed at replacing old asbestos roofs on a block of flats. The party conducted an oversight inspection of the area. A multi-million housing project to bring back dignity to residents. It was scheduled for completion in March 2016, but that never materialized. The community is fuming. The ANC government failed us because now <clears throat> this place, this Zamazamas, to hide themselves here, and now our lives are in danger. Uh, they've been given a certain place next to the bridge, but within the very same uh, uh, constituency of what that was. But there is no services around there. And so we are actually, it, we, we are actually being uh, frustrated in order to hear that the money it has been allocated, but there is nothing which has actually been, yet, actually been happening. Other people, the employee, we are not paid. Other people were paid. Till now, they are still looking for their money. They are still waiting for the project to continue. The DA alleges that former SABC boss Claudio Mutsuening and the wife of Figilem Balula, Nozuko, were awarded contracts through the Mbuma and MM development, but the project failed to go off the ground. About one billion, it's been given to many contractors, but houses were never built. Today, this is one of the projects that worth about 220 million. There's no foundation, nothing. So it is clear that South Africa people of the Free State, they don't have houses, but the money has been paid for. The Free State Human Settlement Department maintains that it terminated the contract because the contractor failed to perform. It says funds in the project are still in their budget. Following its oversight, the DA says its next move is to approach the Office of the Special Investigating Unit for a probe. Tabiso Khadebe, SABC News. Tabung welcome.